Hey you guys, how you doing? Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Uh, this is Vita and um, this is The Right Workout. Um, I wanna say hey to my Source Nation family. Hope you guys are doing okay today. Um, hadn't seen you since last year. Isn't that the funniest joke ever? I've been waiting to say that all day. Anyway, uh, well all year. Anyway, um, I wanna thank my sponsors before we get started on some things, but today I wanna let you know that I will be giving you some tips to try to hold on to that resolution that you may have made because I know everybody decided they were going to do some awesome things in this coming year. So I kind of want to help you a little bit with that. So I'm going to share some uh, tips with you as far as that. And then I'm going to share with you some of my favorite, favorite videos. Okay, so um, just so you know, um, that's what's going to happen like right now. So um, again, this is Vita with Source Nation Network. I want to thank my sponsors, and they are Scott Cares Foundation, Urban Grandstand Digital, Meet My Types Matchmaking, Blends, Renovations, and New Covenant of Praise Worship Center. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, let me see what I want to do first. Oh, I want to give you the tips that I um, wanted to share with you. So, one of the first tips that I want to share with you is to, um, in this fitness journey, when you're getting started, turn that light bulb on. Because if you don't embrace the fact that you're about to make this journey, whatever's going on is not going to happen for you. It's not going to work. It's not going to be, you know, everything that you want it to be. So um, make sure you turn that light bulb on before you even start the journey, which means make your mind up to do this thing, okay? So let me see. Another thing I want to tell you is um, you need to tell your story. So if you're a person in, say you're working out, and you're having a really, really hard time getting started, or you're having a really hard time with the process or the food, um, that's something that you need to share with a friend because how do you know that this person is not going through the same thing you're going through? Um, so I just wanted to share that with you uh, to let you know that you don't know. You may not be the only person going through that. So you need to share and tell your story to other people so that you can get some help in that issue in your fitness journey, okay? So, and if you need me, all you got to do is call inbox me send me a message any of those things oh another thing is to make a plan once you figure out i want to go on this fitness journey you've made up your mind to do it um and that's one of the steps that you have to take to be able to do it after you told your story and you're seeking help make a plan whether it's to get you a trainer whether it's to buy you a bunch of equipment to look at videos on youtube uh to call me and ask her a couple of questions any of those things you can totally do so whether it's, you know, one or the other one, you have to do something. So that's the other thing. Make a plan, right? That's the third one. Um, let me see. The fourth uh, suggestion is to be prepared for challenges. Now, you should know that going on a fitness journey and telling yourself, you know what? This year, I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing that. You should know that there are going to be challenges, right? So don't think that you're going to be able to do this thing and then, you know, everything is going to go smooth and you're going to drop all the weight you want to and your body's going to be shaped like you want to and, you know, your, your numbers are going to go up like you want to. Well, that may not happen. So prepare yourself for challenges. Like say, for instance, if your goal is to lose maybe one to two pounds a week and you break even one week, do not panic. Don't lose your dang on mind. You can still fix it. So 
that's a thing to be prepared for. One of the challenges, even if like say for instance you get sick, you can't work out when you're sick. That's a challenge. Be okay with it and know that you can always start over and you can reach your goals, okay? So last but not least, be in position, which means if you get a trainer and you pay for a trainer, or if you get a gym membership, take your butt to the gym. That's the easy one. Go to the gym, do what you need to do. A lot of people get memberships because, oh, it's $15 a month, but you ain't been since you got the membership. What good did that do? So how are you going to reach your goals if you never go to the gym, if you don't ever do anything? Be, put yourself in position to reach your goals, okay? So those are my tips. I know I'm on the soapbox and I'm preaching or whatever, but I hate it when people have goals in mind and make resolutions and then don't know how to reach them, okay? So those are your tips. Let me go back over them. For some of you people who just came in and you're missing it, turn on your light bulb, which means get your mind right. You hear me say it all the time. Get your mind right and get your body tight. Tell your story. You, you, what you've gone through is a testimony. It could totally help somebody else. So don't be selfish about your business. Go and put it out there so people can know, you know, this supplement does not work. This does not do this for me. You know, doing this amount of cardio isn't working for me. I don't know what I should do. Put your story out there. Help somebody. Make a plan. Figure out what you're going to do, how you're going to um, get to your goal. And, um, you know, get somebody who can help you. Um, let me see. Be prepared for challenges. That's number four, which means if, if you don't get there, like you feel like you should get there, does not mean you won't get there, okay? Let me see what else. Um, be in position. Show up when you're supposed to. Do what you say you're going to do. That's it. That's pretty much the game right there. Do what you say you're going to do. If you feel like you're going to drop 10 pounds and you can't go around eating fried chicken and cake all the time like you've been doing over this holiday, you can't do it, period. It, you're, you won't reach a goal. It's just not going to happen. I don't even want to sugarcoat it. I don't want to make up a lie for you. I don't want to make you feel good. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be healthy. Once you're healthy, everything else is going to fall into place. You'll be more functional. You'll be happier. All those things kind of fall into place. So I really, really want you guys to get that thing. Like you really, really need to, you know, try to hold on to those resolutions. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do was share with you some of the exercises that I think will help you, you know, reach your fitness goal. Now, remember, you're always 30 minutes of cardio, uh, you know, it's cool. I personally, I think in that 30 minutes, you should work harder. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're walking or running or something, put some weights in your hands, make an incline, that sort of thing. Because for me, like, a, and that's just me personally, and a lot of my clients, you know, doing cardio for an hour, yeah, you're going to burn calories, you're going to do that. It gets a bit monotonous and you don't look forward to it. So if you can knock it out really, really quick, go ahead and get it done. Kettlebells for 20 minutes. That's some cardio. Hit training. Cardio and strength training at the same time. Just a little hit for you so you can, you know, get to where you need to be. So right now, what I want to do is show you a couple of exercises. Uh, maybe some combos that can actually get you to where you need to be a little bit faster as well. Um, I forgot to say this initially, but remember, get your numbers checked. Make sure it's okay with your doctor for you to work out first. So don't go get you a trainer and you ain't had a physical in about five years. And you go to the trainer and you got asthma, you about to pass out. You didn't share with your trainer that you had heart disease and all kinds of stuff. Don't put a person in the position to where, you know, they can't help you. Because after they find out, and it's going to show up. Old people, it will show up. After they find out, they ain't going to want to work with you. So don't do that to anybody, okay? Don't do it to yourself because you're going to be hurt more than anyone. So find what your numbers are, your BMI, your glucose levels. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, blood pressure, you know, cholesterol, all those things you have to find out before you start your journey. So I'm trying to help you to go into this new year. Um, and be fully prepared to go on this fitness journey. The, you know, again, don't be one of those people that says, you know what, I'm going to stop eating meat in the new year. And you know that's hard. Transition yourself into doing that. Don't just cut it off because after a while, all you don't want to do is eat some meat if you've cut yourself off from meat. Or if you cut yourself off from sugar. That's just like getting off a drug. You going to have to wean yourself off sugar. You can't just stop. Almost everything in the world has sugar in it. So what you have to do, Again, make you a plan, figure out how you're going to grocery shop a little bit more effectively, and then that way, when you get ready to do those things, that candy's not readily available, that cake is gone, 
because it's old and it was from New Year's and Christmas anyway. So you don't have to worry about those things. Don't buy any more of it, right? Get stuff that's pretty, green, beautiful color. All those things will help you to reach your goal a little bit better. Um, sometimes um, skipping a meal is worse than eating something bad, okay? So don't be one of those people that say, um, if I work out and I burn 550 calories and then I don't eat no more, then I'm going to be good. No, no, no. Your body's going to hold on to the fat. It's going to store it in places you don't want it to be. Trust and believe me, I know. So do a little bit better about that. Try to eat maybe five to six meals a day, right? Wake up early. Get your breakfast in. Lunch, couple hours. I mean, snack, couple hours after that. All you have to do is drink you a green smoothie or something, something to sustain you till lunch. Then once you've eaten your lunch, then two hours later, you need another snack because you're going to be hungry again. So the worst thing in the world is to be hungry and your whole mood change and you're snapping on people because you ain't got enough food. So you have to fuel that machine, okay? Just a couple of little tips. I'm just trying to help you get there. And then, you know, somebody uh, said to me, uh, you're not supposed to eat after, what is it, 5 or 6 o'clock? Well, if you don't get out of work till 5 or 6 o'clock, how you going to not eat? Especially if you come to work out with me. You're going to have to fuel up. So you, you can't eat after those times. It's what you're eating. That's the issue, right? So if you're going to eat something and you're going to go home and lay down on top of that something that's already bad, then no, that's not a good thing for you. But if you can, you're going to eat something that you can burn off as energy and not store as fat, right, and, you know, get rid of as waste, then that's what you're supposed to do. So don't listen to everything everybody says. Don't listen to all the fads or whatever. People will try to sell you anything. But the quickest way to get to where you want to be and to be able to sustain it without having some surgery or something is to just eat clean. Eat different. Do something different this year so you can get some different results. Stop worrying about everybody screening, scrolling, looking at Instagram, checking out folk pictures, talking about what did they take, what did they do, whatever, whatever. Figure out what will work for you. Eating healthy and exercising works for everybody, okay? Just thought I'd share that with you. So you ain't got to figure it out. You ain't got to navigate through it. Try to eat better. Try to eliminate a thing every time you go grocery shopping for the next couple months. Like say, for instance, if you buy the Chips Ahoy and you ain't got no babies in the house. Really? Yeah. You need to not do that. So try to do a little bit better. Don't get the chips. Try to get some pop chips. Something that's a little bit healthier. Ease yourself into your journey because what you don't want to do is do this thing for a little while. You want this to be your lifestyle. You want to change what you're doing so that you can change what you're seeing, right? So, anyway, I'm off the soapbox. Uh, now we're getting ready to get some moves in. Um, let me see. I got a nice little arm series that we used to do when we first started at Right One Fitness Studio. So if you have some hand weights, then we can uh, do that. I got some chair moves for you people who actually work in the office. And you keep saying, you know, I can't. I sit around all day. I got some things you can do in a chair uh, that can get your uh, your body a little bit tighter while you're at work. So um, let me see. We're gonna start out with uh, doing the uh, little arm series that I was talking about. Just a couple of little tips to get you to be able to hold on to that resolution because sometimes you just need a little bit more knowledge. That's all, people. I got you. I'm sorry, I got you. Okay, hold on. Let me get my weights. I know that took a minute, but I had to find them. So, this is a cute little series. So, we're going to work the arms entirely. You know how you see some exercises, uh, well, some plans or some videos and stuff, and then they say arms, um, you know, and different stuff. So, we're going to work in this whole total little, you know, uh, routine that we're going to do for your upper body. We're going to hit your shoulders, right? We're going to hit your biceps, we're going to hit your triceps. We're going to pretty much hit everything on your arm, okay? And this is something that I'm going to want you to do. Um, let's see. You can incorporate this workout in maybe about three times a week. Okay? Let me say hi to some people. I was so not supposed to be. Uh, this show is supposed to be 6.30 tonight. Oh. So uh, you guys going to have to watch this again. Anyway, um, let me see. Let's do this little arm series right here. So the first part of it is just going to be a straight up shoulder press, okay? So look, elbows, even with the shoulders. One of my favorite moves works every time. And all you're going to do is press it up over your head. Get it back even. Look, I didn't drop it all the way down here, and I did I. 
because I don't need to. I'm working my shoulder, right? So I'm pushing it all the way up over my head. Now, with this whole series, what I recommend that you do is, if you have a super lightweight, maybe uh, you do 15, right? Now, if you have like a regular lightweight, like say for instance, your heavyweight is maybe 25 or 20 or something, and you have like an eight or a 10 here for your lightweight, then I recommend you do 10, right? But what I want you to understand is we're gonna do things that are really super shoulder intensive, but they're gonna hit other muscles. So don't get something that's super, super heavy because you ain't gotta show out when you're at home by yourself, okay? Don't get anything super heavy. Now you're gonna take this all the way up over your head as well, right? We are still working the shoulders, but you're gonna feel this like in your back, right? Right there. Yeah, and you're welcome. So you're gonna give me 10 or 15 here, depending on what weight you have, right? Good, we're gonna stop here. Now, all I want you to do is turn the weight down so we can hit the back of your arm, which is a tricep, okay? You're gonna take it behind you. Let me give you a little view here. Behind you, all the way up, right here. You're gonna start feeling those triceps right off the rip. Trust and believe me. So remember, we've done 10 shoulder press, straight arm overhead press. Now we're going triceps behind the back, right? You with me? You should have had your weights out. I forgot to tell you yesterday. So anyway, that's part of the series. You're going to go up, up and out, and down. Now, something else we can actually do in this same position, we go from here, look at this. Take this weight all the way behind your head, open up, right here. Look at that. Back and shoulder, same time, man. Same time, you're welcome. Isn't that awesome? Well, anyway, that's another move. Now, from here, everything that we're doing, remember I said 10 to 15 times, right? Depending on what, what kind of weight you have. So, from here, we're gonna go back to here because remember we just went behind your head. You're gonna squeeze your elbows in. Woo! You're gonna feel that in your chest and you're gonna actually feel it in your front uh, delt right here, okay? Because there is a rear delt and there is a front. You're welcome for that education, good. Squeeze right here, right? We're still on those arms and it is starting to burn. Now, from here, now, I'm showing you this series. I really, really want you to do it. If you got to go back and watch it, do so. Right. So, here you go. One of my most favorite moves ever. When you're wearing a strapless or your back is out, honey, you better know this right here will give you some life. Push this out. Bring it back. It's called a W. Right? Look. Small W, big W. Squeeze into the back. Bam. And bam. Bam. And bam. One of my favorite go-to moves. Now we've completed pretty much everything. Set. We're going to stay up here in the upper body, and we're going to hit the chest. So you know you can hit the chest standing, right? So the same weight, you don't have to have a super, super heavy weight to do your chest. You just got to have more reps, okay? So open, bam, close. Right there. Right in front of the chest. Right there. Open and close. That's all you got to do. Now you pretty much hit everything except these biceps. And what we're gonna do with the biceps, we're gonna do a 21. You don't have to have, like I said, heavy weight. Actually, we're gonna change that 21 to a 30 because everything is, um, we're doing 10 to 15 times, but this bicep move, I definitely want you to do 10, okay? So from down, all the way down on the outside of your hips, you're gonna go up to your shoulders, back down, right? That's the whole move. But we're gonna start here with your 30 right here, halfway, you see that? Under my breastbone, right? Above my navel. That's halfway with your bicep curl. So you're gonna go halfway up for 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze it. Six, I really want you to squeeze, five. Four, I really need you to squeeze, three, Two and one. Now all the way up 
and halfway down for 10. Nine, you see where I'm stopping? Eight, seven, good. Six, five, come on, squeeze it. Four, head on back, yes. Three, all the way up, halfway down, two, and one. Now I wanna all the way up and down for 10. This is your last 10. Nine, eight, remember, seven, a full set is all three of them. Six, five, head on biceps, four, squeeze them. Three, two, and one. Upper body, done, right? Good, let's take it down to the floor so that we can do some lower body. You guys with me? Good, good, good. Now, let's take it all the way down. Let me see who's here. Oh, hey Dwight, how you doing? Happy New Year, you guys. Thank you for joining me, Shalette. Thank you, and Laverne, you know I love you. Chicago and them. Anyway, let me take it back down to the floor. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit actually your quadriceps, and then we're gonna hit your abs and your hamstrings, right? So on your quadriceps, let me show you this awesome, awesome set. Now, if you ain't got time to do a lot, lay back on your elbows, legs straight up, right? Point those toes for me. Now, all you gotta do is drop one at a time. You're gonna feel your abs and your quads at the same time, right? Isn't that awesome? That's a great, great move to knock two muscle groups out at one time. You are so welcome. No strain on your back. Remember, when your elbows are down, look, my shoulders directly over my elbows. Right? My wrist is directly out from my elbow, right? So I'm making about a 90 degree angle there with my arm. You see that? Because if you don't, you're going to be leaned all back like this. Your neck's going to be hurting. That's crazy. You're not going to want to do anything. That'll give you an excuse to not, not do nothing. And that's not what we want, right? So take it back up. Now remember, you can always start here. Pushing out, right? Push out. You can always start there. And you can always start with a toe tap or a heel tap. Either way it goes, you're gonna feel it in your abs and you are gonna feel it in your quads. You are so welcome. Now, another of my go-to moves. Now, I'm sharing secrets with you, so I'm gonna need you to be appreciative of that. I don't share these exercises with everybody. Just you guys that watch the right workout. So, you're gonna lay flat on the floor. Your feet are gonna be flat on the floor as well. Hands down by your side and you're going to press up. That's a nice little bridge, right? You should feel your buttocks, your glutes. Let me see, your hamstrings, right? Now you're going to bring that back down. Now once it's all the way down, you're going to bring your legs up and push up. So it's glutes, bam, hamstrings, and lower ab. Right? Bow. And bow. Now come lift straight up into it. Pow. Soon as the legs go up, everything else must follow. Bam. Bam. Good. It got too good to me. I done moved out the frame and everything. Woo. You're going to feel that. Now remember the whole entire time. Now what you can do for me, if that's too much to do, that movement of the legs going up and, the, um, and your hips going up at the same time or whatever, We'll follow each other. If that's too much for you, you can stay right here on my bridge and give me 10 to 15 there. And then as soon as you're done there, you put those legs up, go right into it. No break in the middle of that though, okay? Three rounds of that ought to get you nice, all right? So once again, here, bam, bam, right? And bam, bam right after each other if you're not going to alternate and do one after each other okay if you're not going to alternate it then you know give me a whole set of each one behind the other one without a break in the middle all right so that is done now for you people who work in the office that i promised i would give you some exercises i wasn't kidding i'm going to give you some exercises i'm about to go get my chair now if you're sitting in your chair now and you're watching me, you can actually do it as I'm doing it, okay? So I'm gonna move this mat out of the way. 
And I'm also tell you something else. Um, for all you people who are interested, yes, yes, and yes, Vita is about to start uh, teaching classes again. I have remixed a uh, Right One Fitness Studio, and I'm going to tell you dates and times. I'm so happy, so honored, and so blessed that I found someone who thought enough of me to want to invest and to help me out. So I got a space. I'm super happy. This is going to be a great new year. Vita's about to start teaching class again, and you know how I do when I'm teaching class. Thank you. So, I'll share all that information with you. If you're interested, you're going to have to inbox me because I'm going to forget to, you know, put it out there if I see people or, you know, I keep in touch with a lot of people. Or if you are on my uh, private page, uh, the, uh, let me see, what is it called? Right One Fitness Body by Vita? Then I can share that information with you. Um, so, if you don't reach out, I won't know you're interested, right? So, if you're really, really ready for a change, I'm going to teach some classes and... When I teach class, I kick something that rhyme with class. Just so you know. So if you need a push, a boost, or a kick in your, you know what? So you can get your mind right. I'm the person you need to talk to. So get in touch with me however you can. All right, all right. Let's do this thing now. I'm gonna get my chair. You, if you're at work and you're sitting in your, get ready for something to happen because it's gonna be beautiful. some things done right here are a couple of things that you can do for your quadriceps lift your leg up kick it out bring it in put it down now about 25 of these you're going to swear you got ankle weights on i'm so serious it is something you can do now the entire time that you're doing this hold your tummy nice and tight okay remember 25 this leg 25 this leg yeah but then guess what's after that Usually, there's some sort of handle on the side of the seat. They don't want you to fall out. It's a work hazard, okay? So, hold on to the handles on the side of your seat. Lift those knees up, right? Put them back down. Now, you should feel what's working right then. It's your abdominals, right? Just lifting your knees up, even if you're laying on your back or anything. You're working your abs, lifting your knees up, right? But we're going to complicate this a little bit. So, you're going to hold that up. You ought to really feel your abs now, and you're going to tap one leg down. One. Yeah. The other one stays up. That side of your abs is contracted. So we're hitting your obliques on one side at a time, right? It's like doing a crunch on one side and not doing one at all, but in contraction on the other side. You're welcome. Now let's do this other side. Right. Good, 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 good. Now you can do both. Same nine. Good. Now, when you're sitting in your chair and you're doing this exercise, just to give you a little bit of a tip, what's going to have to happen is your lower back cannot be up against the seat like this. Look, it's hard for you to lift your knees up, right? And it's not good hard, like muscle fiber use hard. It's like stupid hard, right? So, you have to scoot down a little bit so that there is some room between your lower back and the back of the chair, right? That will allow you the luxury of lifting your knees up. So, after you've done my ab work and you've done uh, the quadricep work that we talked about, I want you to actually get up from the chair, get beside it. See, I'm one of those people, when I had a, a desk job, I stayed in trouble because I could never stay seated. So I was always getting up, always doing something because I had to move. So I want you to become one of those people too so you can burn calories while you're sitting at your desk. Even if you're, you know, a person that's on the phone all the time, any of those things, you can still move. So, all I want you to do is lift one leg up, bring it back. Lift it, bring it back. Lift it, bring it back. Good. That's all I want. 25 each side to get you where you want to be. And if you need to split it up, 10, 15, do so. Just lift. Here's what I don't want you to do in doing my lift, right? I do not want you to lean. You know how you do this and your body automatically wants to lean to the side? Don't do that, right? You're not getting to use all this muscle fiber right here and you want to tone this thing up, right? So don't do that. Right there. Right there. 
Remember I said 25 each side. Now, another thing that you can do. Let me say hi. Who is that? Let me see. Ira, how you doing? <laughs> Let me see. It's a few people. I'm sorry I can't see everybody, but you know I love you, and I'll say hi to you at the end. Okay? Um, let me see. What else? Oh, tricep dip. The back of the arm, you know how everybody hates the back of your arm, right? I mean, maybe it's just me. I really hate that part of my arm because it doesn't matter. Sometimes what I do, if I don't concentrate on that muscle, there's a hang there. So, you know, ladies, I, you know he hate that. So, a way for you to be at work when you go on your little break, because you don't need an hour to eat. You just want an hour to eat. So, even if you use maybe 15 minutes of that hour to get you some movement in, walk around the building at your job, do any of those things. If you got stairs, walk up and down the stairs. And if, you know, you say, oh, I'm sweating a little bit, I don't want to be at work sweat. Don't nobody need to be up all smelling on you at work, no way. You know, everybody been going to court for that here lately, so. Somebody all sniffing up on you and be like, girl, you been outside working out? Tell them they need to back up, give you 50 feet, okay? Anyway, you need to do what you need to do to progress that journey, okay? And this is one of the things. So, tricep dips, beautiful. Love them, love them, love them. Now, remember, on tricep dips, you're going to pull your butt off of your seat, and your hands are going to be on your seat. The further you walk your legs out, the harder this move is going to be. So if you already know you ain't trying to hit it that hard initially and you ain't ready, don't walk your feet all the way out there like that. You might hurt yourself, okay? So keep them in nice and close if you need to and use your arms to push and pull yourself up. Now don't use your legs. You see this? A lot of people do this. That ain't cute. Plus that ain't even an exercise, okay? Thanks. Now, use your arms to lift your full body weight. Now, like I said, as you walk your feet out, it gets a little bit harder. Challenge yourself. Start out on the hard. Walk your feet in as you need to. Now, remember, you're still at work. You're still sitting at your desk, and you're getting some things done. Okay? So, start out with the mouth straight. Woo! Get about three or four in. Bow, bow. Feet of this crazy. Walk them in a little bit. Woo! Feet up. Feeling that. That's nuts. Right there, right there. Finish it off strong. Sit back in your chair. Right? Shake it off. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to have some energy. You're not going to want to take a nap anymore, which is usually what happens after lunch because you've overeaten. Right? Is it just me? Am I right or am I wrong? So once you start doing your exercises, your blood pressure, not in a bad way, your heart rate is going to go up. Okay? And that's going to help you out for the rest of the day. So... Um, I really do advise you to try to do some things, um, you know, that, that are going to enhance you and move you further in that fitness journey that you're trying to be on, okay? Now, if you need some help, you need some instruction, something like that, inbox me, right? Vita McNeil Wright, if you're not my friend on Facebook and you're just looking at this, you just happen to run across this, uh, be my friend. I'm nice. Um, and uh, Instagram, it's Right One Fitness. If you need to email me, it's Right One Fitness at Gmail. Dot com. Ask me any questions that you want to know. Now, I'm just telling you. Vita got to eat too, so I ain't giving you everything for free. I'm just letting you know. All right, I love you though. But I am a trainer and I'm a fitness professional. I will come to your church, your organization, your job, wherever you need me to come to do some fitness motivational speaking. I have come to find out that that is a part of my purpose and one of the reasons why I'm here. So if you need somebody to come, you got a group of friends, you know, everybody did their little vision boards and they had all these beautiful things they were doing and saying, but if fitness wasn't a part of that, your little vision board, feeling better and looking better, you might need to revamp your vision because if you're not uh, healthy, how are you going to perform at, at, you know, at peak level? You can't perform at your highest level if you're not feeling good, right? You can't go to work if you're sick. Don't nobody want that. Right? That, which means your immune system is not where it needs to be, which means you're probably not eating the things you need to eat. Right? Vitamins, big, big deal. If you don't have what you need, what you know what I did with my physical this year? They did everything. What I found was what was low, what was high, all these things, so that I could fix some things, so I could have more energy, because I'm telling you something. After you get a certain age, that metabolism slows down, 
everything kind of slows down on you. You try to figure out what is really going on. When you used to could eat a cheeseburger, some french fries, and everything had bacon on it with some cheese around it, and not see nothing. And then now, <laughs> you can look at a white potato and gain three pounds, right? I know it can't just be me. So you got to revamp that thing for who you are now and where you are now in your journey and in your life. Um, and if you're a person who cannot do that on your own and you can be honest with yourself and say that, you need to seek help. You need to find you somebody. And I don't mean, like I always say, I don't mean your friend that's fine because her mama fine. She probably ain't had no, uh, no issues. I need you to find somebody who done been through some things before that can help you out. Because if they ain't never been through nothing, how do you think they're going to help you go through something? Right? So most of the time when I'm talking to my clients, and they be like, girl, I wanted some sugar. One. Hell, I want sugar too. Sorry for that little bad word I have to say, but I do. You know what I mean? But I have to make a choice. How bad do I want to get in that dress? You, if you look at my page, you know I like tight dresses. I do. I love them. Who don't? But I, I would rather be able to wear what I want to wear do what I want to do, dance all night if I want to, than to eat that pe that thing with the sugar in it, or to eat that fried chicken. And I love that too. But I would much rather be able to live like I want to live, dress like I want to dress, move like I want to move, than to eat that thing. You got to see what's a priority to you. Because just because it tastes good to you, don't mean it's good for you. And y'all know that. Ain't nobody telling you nothing new. All these people that speaking and saying all this stuff, they are not telling you anything new because there's really nothing new about fitness under the sun. Everybody grabs something. They ain't seen somebody else do. Put it together in a different order, even if, if they decide to. Most of the time, they don't care. They'll bite it, put their name on it, and act like they came up with it. And guess what will happen? It's a new fitness fad. Everybody want to do it. And, you know, I ain't no hater or nothing, but I experienced a thing, and I think it was called trap yoga or something. Oh. I couldn't really meditate and find my center because the music was not peaceful for me. Now, it might be for you, and if that's something you want to try, you can try it. But what I'm trying to say to you is you got to navigate through that thing and figure out what's good for you. I can only give you suggestions. All I can do is kind of tell you what I would do, which is what everybody does. But just because somebody's got a great body does not mean they can tell you how to make yours great. Understand that, and if you don't listen to anything else I've ever said to you, listen to that. Everybody can't tell you how to get where you need to be. Anyway, if they do, you still got to make your mind up to do it, right? So, my advice to you is make your mind up. Get your mind right so you can get your body tight. Nobody can do that for you. You're going to have to put that work in. That's what you're going to have to do. So, if you need some help, let me know. I would totally appreciate it. I have a whole bunch more tips. I will see you um, again next week, and I hope you'll tune in 6.30 on Thursday evenings. I know this one was kind of early. I, I think I didn't put it on the right uh, setting for me to be able to share this with you a little bit later on. But if you didn't have the equipment that you needed and you saw some exercises that you could totally do, I want you to go back, check it out, share it, tag some friends, do what you need to do. Come back and do those exercises. The ab exercises was real. Trust and believe it. Honey, this is 40-something, two kids, uh, sharing too much now, a uh, cesarean, a hysterectomy, some other stuff that went on in here, and it can still be flat. So what I don't want to do is hear any of your excuses about why your stomach can't be flat. You got a scar, so. You done had a surgery, so. That ain't got nothing to do with what you putting in your mouth. That ain't got nothing to do with whether you moving or not. Okay? You got to make your mind up to do it. I ain't got really nothing else to say. I love you guys. You know I do. I got to thank my sponsors on the way out. And they are Scott Cares Foundation, Urban Grandstand Digital, Meet My Types Matchmaking, Blends, Renovations, and New Covenant of Praise Worship Center. And I want to thank you guys for joining me again. Um, now let me go up here so I can see how all my friends. Let me see, let me see. Davis, how you doing? It's been a long time. How y'all doing? Let me see who else. Let me see, let me see. Oh, hey, Leslie. Sorry I didn't tell y'all I was doing a show. I had to, you know, go ahead and do what I got to do. You know, this is my year of saying, hey, I'm going to be on time. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do so I can get prepared to where I'm supposed to be going. Because I'm tired of treading water, baby. 
I'm tired. It's time for Vita to get hers. And uh, I'm going to just tell you, if you was rocking with me when I ain't had nothing, when I get some, guess what? You're going to have some too. I love you. All right. Got to go. She got to go. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been awesome. This year is going to be marvelous. You know why? Just because I'm claiming it, I'm putting it in the atmosphere, I'm putting it in the universe, and I already talked to God about it. So, hopefully you guys will see a whole bunch of other things from Vita this year that you've never seen, because I cannot wait, and I know God is about to bless me with some stuff I probably ain't even ready for, but I'm going to get ready for it. And I need you to get ready to go on that fitness journey. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. I can tell you all day, but I can't make you do nothing. Can't nobody make you do number two. So do it. All right? I'll holler at y'all next show. Peace.